Hi, I'm Tracy Peterson, and I'm going to show you the ultra key effect in Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 has a lot of great new improvements, but one of the coolest ones is ultra key, in my opinion. I do a lot of corporate work where I have people sitting in front of green screens or other backgrounds that could be keyed, and uh, adding it to Premiere actually alleviates quite a lot of bouncing out to After Effects for a decent key, which makes me a very happy boy. Now, this particular shot where we're going to start with is a little bit rough on the lighting, and I wanted to use it to show you that there are plenty of, of custom features in Ultra Key or custom settings that can help you work on some of the less than favorable lighting situations. In this one, we've got really dark shadows and really bright highlights, um, so it's really uneven lighting. Now, the cool thing is, is that because we have all these extra settings in the Ultra Key, it's really quite a, a, a flexible keyer. Uh, we're going to be able to go ahead and get most of them out. And the other good thing is that since we're standing on a platform, we can use these shadows down here to our advantage, uh, make it look pop out, and maybe maybe it stand out from the background a little bit. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and click on this eyedropper for the key color. And while we're while we're looking at the colors, we can see that we have a lot of highlights over here. We have a lot of darks over here, and definitely the big darks over here. Now, if you click the really dark ones, you end up with the highlights still kind of in place. Now, that will allow me to lower them out, and look, we're, we're already in place. So, when I'm selecting a color on this broad range of light, it's better for me to click on the darker colors, because it will pull, and it'll give you more leeway for the brighter greens as you can see when I lower the highlights right there down to zero, when I lower their opacity to zero. But looking at the alpha channel, I can see the remainder of my mat is quite clean. And now we just need to get rid of a couple of these shadows in there and we should be fine. So I'm gonna raise the pedestal just a little bit to give me a little bit more. Raise, so I'm gonna raise the pedestal just a bit and then I'm going to lower the tolerance just a touch and I'm going to raise the shadow value to 100. Now we've lost a little bit of of information in the middle mid area there so I'm going to lower I'm going to rate, kind of work the transparency a little bit until I can get to a place where I gain some of my data back but I don't gain too much of the background data. Now you've still got those shadows around the feet but again it's going to be useful to us for our our placement in the scene I'm going to go back to the composite shot, and I can see that all of the edges, including the hair, are pretty good. So including the little shadow around the legs, still very useful. So I'm going to go ahead and move the subject, in this case me, over to the little pier there. And now that we have him on the pier, he looks great. The, key, the edge is clean. The lighting is decent. Looks good. And... It's very quick. Again, I say it's very, very fast. It doesn't take a lot of overhead to scrub right through. Now, very quickly, I'm going to show you how well it works with a good lighting situation. Um, <laughs> you might be amazed. I was the first time I tried it. I go in here. I click the eyedropper as we did before. Click on the green, and we are almost done. Now, I'm going to look at the alpha channel just for a cleanup. It looks like I've got a little bit of stuff over here. Now, I could go over here to the custom settings and work these just a touch to get the background completely transparent. But if you, like me, like things to be very fast, we'll try one more method, which is I'm going to select the color, go for about the middle, and then I'm going to set it to aggressive. And we're done. So as you can see, Ultra Key is a great addition to the Premiere Pro family, and it's going to save a lot of time for those people who uh, do talking head, uh, talking head type clips with their clients without having to bounce out to After Effects. You can use Ultra Key right in CS5.